let's set the stage for the people at home. Okay, so setting uh, the stage for the people at home. No, I'm so setting the stage for the people at home. Setting the stage for the people at home. <laughs> One, that you had a extraordinary affinity for really bad TV. Oh, okay. Really bad TV. Look, Buffy the Vampire Slayer is a classic. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> it is. 19 or 20 years old, um, it's not often you can turn on ESPN and watch your college roommate be <laughs> playing in a game. I mean, Jason, I remember I, over Christmas watching you play Duke. Oh, yeah, um, the, yeah. I think it was a number one, two game in the country. Yeah. You were, I think it went, if it didn't go into overtime, you remember I this think game. We won, but, yeah, we won the game, yeah. Yeah, in yeah, Oakland, in yeah, the Coliseum. Yeah. Um, the Pete Noel Classic. Yeah. I remember that game. Yeah. But huge sellout crowd. I, I, I'm sitting there watching my college roommate. Funny right? story was that um, I forgot to take, speaking of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, this is actually hilarious. That this actually did This is happen. hilarious, actually. That game, I couldn't get a hold of you because I forgot to tape it. And <laughs> I en actually ended up calling, remember Curtis Graham? Oh yeah. Yeah, so I actually ended up calling Curtis to like make sure that he taped it so after the Duke game, that I'd be able to watch. That's how so big for my love of Sarah Michelle Gellar goes. For you <laughs> young basketball <laughs> stars out there, remember that right before you play the biggest game of your career, you should be focused on Buffy the Vampire Well, Slayer. your favorite TV show taped? to DVR. Now there's DVR. Now it's just like you could do it like with your phone. I mean, these kids today, geez. <laughs> So it was my sophomore year. You guys were the number one team in the country. You had, um, you're traveling all over the country. Um, you were getting ready to go off to the NBA. Um, you and Jaron were quite literally the big men on campus, um, <laughs> literally. Um, but the way that you handled all of that, the way that you stuck up for your teammates, the way that you protected your teammates, when I saw it through um, folks that would, would come by and want to see you, want to get to meet you, um, want to be able to talk to you and see what was happening in this game or what was going to happen next and how was the, what was going to happen in the tournament and who made that shot or this. And always polite, always friendly, but always protective of your team and always made it clear that when it came to folks that um, you cared about that um, you were going to fight for them.